So I'm doing some tests and uh, one of the tests I'm doing is I have a lav mic, lavalier mic. I have my webcam, which I'm holding in my hand. I got a new camera from the fine folks at Egghead to help do some hardware videos. An awesome stand to put the camera on. A pair of lights. I'm only going to use one today because I, I need to sort of get a feel for how everything looks. And uh, yeah, so I'm giving a go on doing hardware videos. Oh my goodness. The webcam will mount on the rig so I can do this nicely. Um, but first, let's just take a look at what I bought from Elmwood Electronics um, last week. I haven't had a chance to mess with it. So first up is I actually have this pre-existing item, which is a incredibly tiny OLED display that I had bought thinking I would be able to simply mount using some manner of, um, let's see if I can get it to zoom in. No, I don't know how to make it automatically zoom in, but we'll just kind of go like this. No? Anyways, this little tiny OLED display is for a project I'm working on for a company called Miniature Land. And it has 14 pins, as you can see, and I'm trying to figure out how I can make that work. Well, the folks at Elmwood and I had a discussion. I came by and I bought this super handy adapter plate, which has multiple strip distances and the 0.7 works great. So I'm going to use solder paste on this to mount this OLED display on here. Use some header pins on one bank here so that I can talk to it. And then I bought a new um, soldering iron tip because my soldering iron's tip is all messed up thanks to not taking great care of it. So that's gonna get installed today. Oops, ooh. You ever wonder if your table is level? <laughs> and then some proto boards. You can never really go wrong with proto boards. I love these things. You solder headers onto them and they, they're great for, for using. Anyways, that's, uh, that's on the agenda today. <laughs>